Welcome to These Are the Blades of Our Lives, the skating show where I talk to you about skating like it is drama for your mama. On today's episode, Russian Nationals, the women. The drama for our mama was being served to us this Christmas on a silver platter. Queen Teddy Tuberetsi showed us once and for all that this is her world and we are only living in it. Oh guys, I have feelings and this may have to be a two-part video. I don't know yet. As it now stand, Tuberetsi's plan for figure skating domination is well done the way. The current Russian ladies Olympic team is as fado. Endless leg kick Camilla Valley Ava is our new national champion. Quad queen Alexandra Sasha Trusova, our silver medalist. And loyal, dutiful daughter Anna Sherbakova gifted the bronze medal. As far as I'm concerned, this is a done deal and these ladies will be the Olympic team going to Beijing. While the 30 ladies were the winners of this event, they were not the only highlight. As I previously stated, Russian National was going to be heartbreaking this year, and that it was. The saddest of these heartbreak, in my opinion, was none other than the Empress Elizaveta Tutamisheva. To say figure skating fans all over the world was rooting for her is an understatement. More so than anything, I wanted to see Elisabetta make her wish come true for her to go to her first Olympic. This seemed possible for a while this season with the consistency of her triple axel. However, the Russian women national is in my opinion the most difficult competition of the season. Unfortunately, when she needed it the most, the triple axel failed her, and Elizabeth's dream, as well as our hopes, came crashing down. As I see it, this was the Empress's only chance to convince the Russian Federation to send her to Beijing. While Elizabeth came back and fought in the long program, it just was not enough. However, I hope this could be a performance that she is proud of. And whatever her career may end up being from now on, I hope she knows that we all love and support her. And she will forever be our Empress. Yet, the Empress was not the only victim of this national. We also had poor Sophia Semendolkina, who with a triple axel, good jumps, good skating skill, and a clean program could not break 80 in the short program. Without the Iteri bonus, I do not see her being able to make it to the top of the leaderboard. Unfortunately, I can see Sophia making the decision to change to Team Tuberesi next season. Unfortunately, I also can see this being the reason she does not last to 2026. This was just not a good event for anyone named Sophia at all. Because to me, the skater that was robbed the most at this competition, in my opinion, is none other than Sophia Murveyeva. In my opinion, Sophia is probably the most complete skater that competed at that national. She rightfully, if underscoredly, came in second after the short program. However, to this, Iteri Tuberesi then asked the judges, what in the four-letter words are y'all doing? And once Queen Tuberesi talked to those peasants, immediately, poor Sophia was hit with a time violation that we even if we were blind as Stevie Wonder, could not have possibly seen. I love the fact that the judges are now straight up telling us, we are feeding you shit. Please hold your nose and eat it. 
Uh, I mean, can we please take a moment to marvel at the sheer gangsterism of Iteri Tuberetsi? Imagine your skater being generously gifted a third place finish in the short program by the judges, only for you to turn around and tell these judges, excuse me, peasants, what the hell do you think y'all are doing? <sighs> that Iteri was able to get Sophia's scores lower is both amazing and heartbreaking. This woman is truly a genius and amazing in the sport that we love has truly lost all of its integrity.